Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Tyler. We're here at the backyard in, in, uh, in, in a perm industrial park. Uh, Tyler got in a bunch of uh, different, uh, different gloves, chore gloves, all kinds of different gloves, and uh, we, got a, we got a pretty good size, a pretty good assortment of gloves, actually. We got anywhere from the, from the uh, uh, Thinsulate uh, Lion Deerskin all the way to the, uh, these are a very good work glove. They're fine, they're, they're uh, uh, tight fitting glove, but they're, they're got thin slate in them, so they're going to be very warm. Uh, some of the new ones that you got here too are the Lion Premium Pigskin, and uh, these are these are really good work gloves for out in the out in the field, you could say. Yep. Yeah, um, I guess uh, we you know we kind of went to Jerry a little bit. He knows uh, what those guys like and, and what he likes. And uh, another you know one of the big things was it gets uh, cold, obviously, but you got the open cuffs, snow finds a way in, and that's no fun. So we got the ones that are gonna be tight on your wrist, so you can't get any snow in there. But we got open cuffs too. We got you know going back to the gloves. We got the jersey gloves down here. They're like a buck and a quarter a pair, whatever. Doesn't matter. But we got every kind of glove you want with the uh, with the actual mitt gloves. We got the plastic or the uh, the line waterproof uh, PVC gloves, um, goatskin gloves. Basically, we can get any kind of glove you're looking for. Um, these are good quality gloves. Uh, these have been around a long time. And uh, they're really good. Kinko's a really good name. The other thing we got in, these are really popular, is the Tingly Boots. Uh, we sold quite a few of them already. We got the high tops, and then we got the just the regular uh, rubber overshoe boots as well. We sell a pile of them. They're good. They're, they're, they're long-lasting. Uh, they've been around a long time. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're slip on right over the rubbers. One boot that we got in that <clears throat> I was really impressed with is this, uh, this Itasca boot. This is a 100% waterproof boot. It's a uh, uh, thermal light. It's a very light boot. Yep. Uh, it's a very warm boot. 100% waterproof. For the, yeah. the price, I think it's right around $50, I think. Uh, $49.50. And, and for a waterproof boot, that's pretty good. This, you know? is a, this is our everyday price. This is, a, this is one heck of a boot for that kind of price. The other one that Ty's got coming in, they're on back order right now, Columbia Muck, Muck Boots. Uh, they're going to be good. Uh, they're they're an, they're an exciting boot. Uh, uh, they they fit just like a shoe and they're very comfortable, but you have to give you the protection from all the elements. So. And we don't plan on you know uh, a lot of people coming in for the boots and gloves. Uh, we have that route truck that goes around, and uh, a lot of people want gloves off there. Uh, the tinglys are going to go off there uh, quite a bit, I think. So we figured we'd throw them in the store, uh, see what we could do. Yeah. Always a good price down here. You bet. Always always going to be a good price. So. You know, holidays right around the corner, so we got uh, Huggle Hounds. My wife uh, showed me these one day. I kind of laughed at them because they look, uh, I don't know, they look a little different, but uh, they're very tough. Uh, they got some endless squeaker ones, and I know uh, most of the dog toys you get, the squeaker busts out, and then uh, they're, they're not worth much once you lose that squeaker. So uh, we have a couple of them. Some like this for the long tubes, they're called endless squeakers. They get a hole in it, they're going to keep squeaking. And that's the big thing there. Uh, most of this stuff is uh, snowmen, St. Nick, candy cane, reindeer, gingerbread, stuff like that. So it's uh, great if you have uh, you know, dogs that you want to get a nice holiday pre Christmas present for. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good idea for them. They're also very tough, so they should be lasting you uh, quite, a bit of, quite a lot longer, I guess, than, uh, than, than most toys. Um, and they're, they range. You got your, your big ones on this side, the small ones on this side. So. Good for all dogs. This is still my, my favorite toy we have here. There's squicks, six little squirrels in here. Uh, it's it's kind of one of those where you hide your squirrels in here, you let that dog, yeah, they're in the net right now, but you let that dog go in there and, and find those squirrels. And uh, when they're all done, you put them back in there and uh, they never get bored with it, that's for sure. A couple other things we got here is their, uh, their treat dispensing toys. So you throw your treat in, treat in here. And all we're doing is, is you're giving the dog, you know, a reason to play with that toy just a little bit longer. So we got a couple of those here. We got a Nebo ball where same thing, treat dispensing toy. And the last thing here, we haven't talked about this before, it's a fleecy clean. Now, uh, if your dog doesn't like stuff in his mouth, doesn't like getting his teeth brushed, the spray or the gel's not working, uh, this cleans the, it, it really helps clean your dog's teeth. So it's, uh, you know, a lot of dogs don't like getting touched in the teeth, so this is a, kind of a good good way to do that. So thanks for checking us out. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Uh, 
and have a good day. Thanks. Yard. 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 Yard.